Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Andrew. We are both students from the Automotive Technology Program here at Sun Area Technical Institute. Today we are going to show you a vehicle with a tire pressure monitoring system and how to perform a rotation. This is a 2009 GMC Sierra equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. This vehicle has a tire pressure monitoring system that indicates the exact location of the low pressure. There are also systems that just let you know there is a low pressure. If the light stays on, the system has a low pressure. If the light blinks, there is a failure in the system. We've shown you what a driver will see through his dashboard concerning the tire pressure monitoring system. Now we're going to show you what automotive technicians can see using a scan tool. While using a scan tool, the automotive technician can see the pressures of all four tires and the status of the sensors. One of the common services performed by auto technicians is a tire rotation and balance. The two things associated with the balance are the standard spin balance and the measurement of road force. This is what this particular vehicle's tire pressure sensor looks like. There are two types, either attached to the stem or a band type. As we perform a balance, we need to be concerned about both excessive road force and the out-of-balance wheels because either of them can cause a vibration in the vehicle. Now we're going to balance the tire. This machine measures road force. It does this by the roller placing up to 700 pounds on the assembly simulating driving down the road. If the machine detects an out-of-round assembly, it will indicate to us where to position the tire on the wheel so that we can make a perfectly round assembly. Now we have finished the tire rotation and balance. This will allow the tires to wear evenly over their lifetime. The next step is to reteach the tire pressure monitoring system control module the new position of the tire sensors. Lastly, we are going to show you how to communicate with the control module the new position of the tire pressure sensors. First, we need to put the control module into learning mode. We do this by pressing lock and unlock at the same time on this specific vehicle. We then put the tips tool to the wheel and hit activate so that it forces the sensor to send a signal to the control module telling it the new position of the wheels. We then repeat this on the remaining three wheels according to specifications. Thank you for taking the time to watch our presentation. We hope that you have learned something new about the tire pressure monitoring systems and the services associated with them. Thank you.